Yeah, I tried sticking to like the only reason that in the uh, around Christmas and uh, my birthday I was able to stick stuff to the walls because I actually had thumbtacks that were stuck into it, into the wall itself. But like, there's no way to adhere a green screen behind me and make it look good. It would basically, it would, I could, I could adhere one, but it would look like shit. It wouldn't even look. You would see all shit behind me. It wouldn't look smooth. This is not, you know, where I'm sitting isn't the kind of setup where you can do an easy green screen or anything like that. Jungle, who truly said all employees. All employees. All employees. No weapon. Interesting. At least I got a weapon now. I need a freaking backpack. No backpack yet. No, GL, there's no room behind me. This couch is against the wall here. That's what he means. He's like, what about the green screen you just pull up? There's not even room for a stand or anything there. I can't, if I can't move, if I move forward, there's no room for a webcam and I'll be too close to the TV. So, like, there's literally no room behind me with my setup to do a green screen. It's just not possible. Oh my god, I can't find a backpack. Seriously? Shit. Ah, Fudge Rucker. There's no fucking backpack anywhere. It's up here. Come on, backpack. Oh, come on now. Really? No backpack. Ugh. I still haven't found one. There we are, finally. Oh, brother. A pain in the neck. Now I can finally pick up healing. Where am I? Okay. Ha! Huh. Metal Gear Rex says, DSP tries it. He comes to your house and hangs out. Yeah, I come to your house to eat all your food. I start cooking on your on your on your stove. I start making food. Like, what is this? Like, oh, I'm making myself a snack. Like, oh, you're making us dinner? No, I'm making myself a snack. <laughs> you can make your own. <clears throat> Alright, well, airdrops should start coming in soon. Big Bosley asked, why did I decide to do the face reveal video 10 years ago? I don't know. I think I figured if I was going to take it seriously that eventually I was going to have to show my face anyway, you know? And I was getting pretty big at that point. Like, I was getting really popular to the point where people really liked my videos and they were like, man, you know, we want to see what you look like and see you do vlogging and stuff. That vlogging was becoming pretty big. You know, it was big on YouTube at the time. In fact, vlogging was way bigger than gameplay videos because back then you could not monetize gameplay. So, I think people were always just dying to see me do it, and I said, alright, you know what? If people are really di that that dying to see me do it, I'll just do it, and then I did. I honestly didn't think it was that big of a deal, you know? But, other people did think that it was like a huge deal that I revealed myself. Gas grenade. Nice. 
Alright, so I got AR. Okay, I'm good. Alright. Uh, yes, GL. I, oh, I always accept fan submitted artwork, fan submitted templates, everything. So if you want to take a shot at like a nice template I could use for streaming, go right ahead. Understand though that my template would have to be something that does not really interfere too much in the gameplay because a lot of people watch me on YouTube and I wouldn't want it to be like something that's intrusive, you know what I mean? A lot of streamers have this crazy border around everything with ads and fucking all kinds of shit and, and you know, the gameplay's a, a square on the side. I would never want to do that. But if you wanted to do templates, for example, different shows that I do, right? Um... And stuff like that, yeah, absolutely. Or if just a general template that maybe I could use for various things, sure, give it a shot. Um, someone I missed, who, I missed who it was. But they said they like, I like, they liked my old haircut better, the crew cut I used to have back in the day. Or would I ever go back to it? Well, here's the thing: the crew cut itself is much easier to maintain than this. All you need to do is once or once every month or every two months, you know just basically go get it get it uh, trimmed or whatever and it's done very simple but this haircut is more attractive to everyone like this is a more attractive haircut to a girl or whatever you know my like cat right now says she loves my hair she doesn't want me to change it she says you could if you really want but I love your hair how it is so I wouldn't want to change it if she loves my hair you know what I mean you know and quite frankly I am on face cam every single freaking day now. It's not like back in the day where, you know, I was off camera 99% of the time. So, gotta look good. All right, Super Slave just gifted a subscription to Spooky1. Thank you very much, Super Slave, for gifting a sub. And Spooky1, welcome to the sub club. Welcome to the $5 sub club. I don't know why I got I just think of the stupidest shit. Oh, shit. Airdrops. Airdrops. Hands up my airdrop, boy. I'm good. I'm good. Top 42. Got, don't know where the circle's gonna go, so just gotta drive around more. By the way, guys, this is my last match, just so you know. Only 15 minutes left to stream. I'll probably, you know, make it here to the end of this match. But we had some good matches tonight, right? That's, you know, top 2 and a, a top 10, and did really good tonight. Oh, shit. Someone just gassed someone else. What the fuck? They killed each other. They fucking killed each other. One of them killed... I shot one of the ass and the other one killed him. Holy shit. That's all that's left. Just those two people, right? Yeah. All right. I gotta get to the safe zone now. That was pretty sweet. That was a pretty sweet fight. Ugh. Super Slay says they died as they lived penetrating each other. <laughs> okay then. Dude, my H1Z1 streams are so much fun. I'm definitely gonna play this game at least once or twice a week. It's too much fun, man. I love it. Silly situations, great gunfights. It's good shit. We got a cop trying to pull me over. He knows I stole this car. Hmm. 
Nah. All right, Big TJ Lee just cheered. He says, "Didn't get that cheer earlier, but good job on your victory. Thank you, TJ. Appreciate that." Ultimate boss did 150 bit cheer. Oh shit! And he says, "Going to bed. I'll catch you tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow, Ultimate Boss." Vampire and more Street Fighter tomorrow. Captain K-Man just cheered. He said, do you happen to see that guy that crashed his helicopter and got impaled by a tree? He's going to field it in the morning. No, I did not. That sounds nasty. What are the chances I can make it? Well, I would have made it if I didn't flip my goddamn car. Fucking shit. What terrible luck. Now I'm screwed because you know that guy's an LMG. Because that's, that's what the yellows are. LMGs. So the motherfucker has an LMG and I'm fucked. Unless I can get to this one. Maybe I can get to it. I think everyone went for the other one. I got it. I'm out of here. Sorry, asshole. I got the LMG. Nice. That's the third straight game I got the LMG. And I got tons of body armor, too. Vietnamese comrade asks, how's my relationship with Kurtz? It's good. They like me. They know I'm helpful. They're helpful to me. We have a very good relationship, though. And they told me last year, don't worry, if ever you get copyright strikes or community strikes or whatever, we'll work through them. We're never just going to drop you. So I was like, wow, that's awesome. That's good to know. We are all in vehicles yet again. I missed. I almost had him, but I nearly missed. 20 people left. Sadly, my vehicle only has half health. Chichurdi says, how am I liking Vampire? Would I recommend that based on my current gameplay? Story-wise, it's pretty good. It's very dialogue heavy. So if you like di branching dialogue trees and that kind of stuff, you'll love it. But that's like the majority of the game. I'd say the game's been about 70% dialogue trees, 30% combat, and, th and that's not an exaggeration. So, yeah, you've got to put up with a lot of dry, mission-based dialogue and trying to, you know, get, get information out of people. And you have to be okay with that and understand what you're getting into. Fuck. Stupid gas. That was annoying. Pot shots at me? You sure? Because if I come back, you're not going to like it. <laughs> if I come back with this LMG... Oh, no! If I come back with this LMG, you guys are not going to like it at all. doing that I'm out of here this guy is chucking grenades
He almost died. Okay, is he feeling so bad? Twelve left. Now it's turned into a destruction derby. It really has. Top 11. Everyone's in cars. Everyone gets out, fires, gets in. Holy crap, top 10 and we're all have cars and we're all driving this one little air Kia. Shut him the fuck up. Top eight. Top eight. I hate when it gets into these, these firefights, the game chops up. And I completely screwed. I got 100% screwed because I couldn't see what was going on because the, the frame rate was chopping up like crazy. And for some reason, I had an EMP grenade armed when I didn't have that equipped earlier on. I had the gas grenade. So I don't know why it switched to the EMP grenade because I wanted to use the gas grenade from earlier. That's what I was throwing. And somehow I had an EMP grenade out, so that screwed me over too. But not much I could do about it. Now I tried. I got a bunch of kills too. Good stuff. All right. 